Welcome to our little camper adventures where we put a lot of fun into a small space and have the time of our lives. Steve and I usually don't camp in the winter months. Wait, what? You don't camp in the winter months? Why not? Here in the Northeast, the most of the campgrounds are actually closed. We can get several feet of snow in freezing temperatures. And we also were pretty busy during the winter months playing sled hockey. You know you can go to warmer climates. Yes, we know we can go to warmer climates and camp there. So are you guys against camping in the winter? No, Steve and Suzanne from Our Little Camper Adventures are not against camping in the winter months. We just haven't tried it yet, but if the opportunity does come up, we would love to. It actually sounds like fun. It does actually sound like fun. Hello, it's Suzanne from Our Little Camper Adventures. Want to say hi and to talk to you a little bit about what to do in the winter months when you can't go camping. Now, if you're like us, um, we typically will go camping in the spring, summer, and fall months, or the three seasons. We don't usually camp in the winter. Now, I do say that now, but our very first time in our brand new camper, we arrived and it was raining. We um, were setting up and it was sleeting and freezing rain and then snowing when we were eating dinner. And then uh, it uh, we woke up in the morning and we had icicles dangling down from the camper. It was an interesting uh, very first experience in our camper. Right now, it is winter here in the Northeast. It is cold and snowy. So we are hanging out and anxiously waiting to go camping again. So if you're like Steve and I, we typically camp mostly in the three seasons, spring, summer, and fall. So if you're like us, in the winter, your camper is winterized. So what do we do? So we do a few things while we're anxiously waiting to go camping again in the spring. So what we'll typically do is I'll start um, planning our trips. I'll book some reservations at some campsites um, and we can plan some road trips. Some things you can do is you can do some upgrades. We just don't have that dry, warm space available in the winter months, so we'll typically do more, most of our upgrades, usually in the spring. So obviously you can go south for the winter, get out of this cold and the snow, and go to, let's say, Arizona or somewhere warm. You can definitely do some research um, about your camper about places that you want to go um, and learn a lot more about your camper if you wanted to over the winter months. Um, you know, things that you can do is just learn about um, your solar system if you have one, learn um, about how to install different items in your camper. Had to come inside. It is cold outside, but wanted to thank you very much for watching our video. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel, hit the like button if you liked our video, and uh, look forward to um, putting out more videos in the um, near future. All right, take care. Bye. Thank you for watching our little camper adventures. Don't forget to click the thumbs up button if you liked the video. Please subscribe to our channel and share with others. Leave a comment so we can get to know you better. Thanks again.